The next cool method we're going to look at is uh, for iterators is called uh, filter. And filter means uh, keep, uh, keep anything that returns true. Uh, so you, uh, you know, let's say you have a vec of uh, you know, one, th two, three, four, five, and you want to keep uh, you know, anything that is, uh, that is even. So you want to do like a, uh, you know, bring in a, uh, bring in a, uh, a closure and then you want to say something like you know um c modulo you know call it c and say modulo 2 equals zero and that is uh pretty easy uh the way it works is uh i'll show you with an example so let's say we have uh all the months of the year and uh there you go months are a vec and you know lots of months so i am just uh copying and pasting and so we have a vec of stirs and then now you want to say filtered months and um, so you take the months and then uh, let's make it into uh, an iter we'll take it by uh, by value and then you want to filter <clears throat> and uh, just like uh, you know the other closures we've seen you give it a name and you say okay I want to do I want to do this. So I will, uh, you know, you're passing on a, a bool. So you want to say, you know, month dot, uh, let's say we only want uh, short months. So we only want to keep months that are, uh, you know, less than five uh, characters long. So we want to keep like May, we want to keep June. And let's say we want to filter again. We can, uh, you know, you can filter as many times as you want. You can uh, you can also say like a month dot uh, contains, and uh, you know we want it to uh, if it contains a U, then we would like to keep it. If not, we are going to throw it away, and it gets filtered out. That's where the name comes from, and then you go back and uh, we'll collect it into uh, into you know, a vec of uh, stirs. And you know what? Actually, let's. Uh, Let's put the, uh, the signature up here so you can see that uh, you don't always have to use the turbo fish. You can, uh, if this is your preference, you can say let filtered months vec stir, and now Russ knows that uh, we're giving a vec of stirs and you don't have to use the turbo fish down here. So that is uh, our filtered months, and then you say, let's say print filtered months, and we should have, I think, like two left. Maybe just one. <clears throat> there we are, two, June and July. And of course, you can also do this. You can do it in a single line because here we're just uh, doing two booleans. So we can just say month.len is less than five and month contains you. But I just wanted to show that you can, you can filter and then you can filter again and you can filter again uh, as many times as you want. And so that is uh, how that works. And uh, I just wanted to show you the the signature as well, because this is uh, this is important to know right now. We don't need to know it late, right right now, but uh, later on, if you put closures into your own functions, you'll start to uh, to see this. And these uh, this fn mute. So closures are. Um, they have uh, one. They have these three traits, and um, when you uh, when you create a closure, let's say uh, you know let uh, my closure equals uh, let's say x. Ooh, my closure equals. What are we going to do? Print. Uh, I don't know. Print something like that. So there's a there's a closure there, and then Rust will. Uh, Will decide you know which trait does it need and this uh it picks from one of these three and uh fn means uh by the way this is uh not the same as this fn so uh be careful this uh this means you're talking about a closure this means you're talking about a function a regular function so this means uh takes uh takes by reference this means uh takes by mutable reference and this means takes by value so that's that's like you know um same as you know reference to self mutable reference to self and self so it's the same as that 
And uh, what happens when you don't, uh, <clears throat> when you're, when you're just, you know, setting up a, a closure on the fly like this, then Rust will pick the uh, the type that uh, that needs the least kind of, uh, you know, power or authority. Like uh, FN once, um, if you if you don't need FN once, then it's going to uh, give it, uh, you know, maybe FN mute if you need to change something. And if you don't need that, then it's uh, then it's going to give it uh, FN, and it's going to use that. So it'll take um, it'll take from the uh, the one of the three that that requires the least uh, this the least amount of uh, what's it called <clears throat> the least amount of uh, I don't know I keep on saying authority but uh, power or something like that. So it'll it'll try to try to use this, and um, so that will become important later but just remember that uh, these uh, when you look at these uh, these functions here these methods um, this just means that uh, it's uh, it's the method has a has a closure inside it and it's going to change the the item because uh, we've given it uh, the power of uh, FN mute so it's going to change it <clears throat> and the last thing I wanted to uh, to show you is uh, something very similar to uh, to filter and it is uh, it is for vex and let's say it's called uh, it's called retain and uh, this means you know retain means to keep so let's say uh, my vec uh, will make this mutable and we'll just say uh, you know one two three four five like we were doing now just say filter and retain very similar and then you just say uh, my vec dot retain and it uh, puts in a closure and you can see um, inside here we have the same uh, we have this fn mute here and it's returning a bool so you do the the exact same thing uh, you, let's call it item and we can do item uh, modulo 2 equals 0 and then we can print out our vec what's left of it and now it will only have the uh, the even items and you can see it's only got two and four left so uh you know this uh this fn mute stuff is uh it's a lot to learn but uh just remember those three names fn fn mute and uh fn once and then uh you know these the names of these two uh two closure uh, methods filter and retain and that'll be uh, really helpful